Hey there, I see you there. I know what it's like to be trapped in a cycle of fearful thoughts. When it feels like no matter how hard you try, those worries and doubt just keep coming back. And it's like your, you know, your mind has become your own worst enemy, making you anxious about, you know, things that haven't never even happened and maybe never will. But here's the truth I want to share with you today. And that is that you can simply break free from these thoughts, these fearful, fearful thoughts. And you don't have to live in that mental prison that much longer. There is a way out. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking to you about how to break free and reclaim your peace back. Step one we're going to be tackling on is to recognize that fear is not your identity. Fearful thoughts flood your mind, but they are not you. So often we get caught up in the storm of the thoughts thinking that, you know, because we feel fear, you know, we must be fearful people. But that is just simply a lie. You're not defined by your fears. Those thoughts that, you know, tell you, oh, you're not good enough or uh, oh, something bad is going to happen. Those are lies. And it's important to separate who you are from what you feel. You might feel fear, but it doesn't own you and it doesn't define you. You are stronger than you know, and you are, you know, not the sum of your anxious thoughts. Now let's talk about something very, very powerful, questioning your fear. You know, fearful thoughts, you know, love to take over when we accept, you know, them as truths with even examining them. But just because you feel fear doesn't mean it's based on reality. You've got to, you know, challenge that son of a bitch. When a fearful thought creeps in, ask yourself, oh, is this thought based on facts or feelings where is the evidence that this will actually even happen most of the time fear operates on the what ifs and worst case scenarios it paints a picture of things going wrong in your mind but those things rarely even come true start questioning those thoughts if you don't challenge them they'll keep growing but when you start to push them back and start to say hey wait a minute where's the proof uh what's the likelihood of this happening you will find that fear begins to lose its power the third step we're going to talk about is to shift your focus to the present one of the sneakiest ways fear gets into our mind is by dragging us into the future. Fear is almost, you know, always about what might happen, not what's happening right now. And when you start, you know, protecting into the future, imagining all the things that could go wrong, we start to lose our peace. But here's the thing. The future hasn't even happened yet. All we have is the present moment. And in this moment, you, you're you okay, I hope. You know, in this moment, I hope you are safe and you're breathing and you're, you're here. When those fearful thoughts come rushing in like they're going to go plant the bomb on B, I want you to take a deep breath, pause, and pull yourself back into the present and ask yourself, what's happening right now? Am I okay in this moment? Moment. You know, this simple act of grounding yourself in the present can bring such instant relief. It stops your mind from running wild in the what ifs and reminds you in the right now, in this moment, and you are okay. Step four we're going to be talking about is to replace fear with truth. The next step to replace fearful thoughts is with truth. This is very crucial because fear loves to spread lives, uh, but you have the power to fill in your mind with the truth and the truth is stronger than fear. You know, one of the, my favorite verses in the Bible is from 2 Timothy 1 to 7 and it says that, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 
When fear starts to creep in, you gotta remind yourself of the truth. You were created with power, with love, and a, with a sound mind. Your know, fear is not from God, and it's not part of who you were meant to be. Replace those fearful thoughts with the affirmations of truth. You know, start saying things like, I am strong, I am safe, I am capable. And when you start replacing fear with truth, your mind begins to shift and you start believing in the power that's within you and the fear starts to lose its grip. The fifth and final step we're gonna be tackling on is to let go of what you can control. One of the hardest things is to let go of control. Fear loves to make us feel like, you know, if we don't worry, something bad will happen. It tricks us into thinking, believing, you know, that by obsessing over a problem, we're somehow fixing it. But in reality, you know, most of the things we fear are things we ultimately can't control. There's freedom in learning to let go of what you can't control. That doesn't mean ignoring your problems or pretending like they don't exist. It means doing what you can and then releasing the rest. It means trusting that even when things feel uncertain, God is in control. That's the beautiful piece that comes, you know, from surrendering what's out of our hands and, you know, trusting that God's got it all. He's bigger than our fears. He's more powerful than the things that can make you anxious. And he's already working things out even when we cannot see it. My sixth and final quick step is to practice gratitude. One of the quickest ways to shut down that son of a bitch fear is by practicing gratitude. Fear and anxiety can't thrive, you know, in a heart that's full of thankfulness. When you feel those, you know, fearful uh, thoughts rising up, take a moment and think about what you're grateful for. You know, gratitude shifts your perspective it reminds you of the good in your life it pulls you know your focus away from what you know could go wrong and places it with what's already going right start with the small things your breath a kind word from a friend the fact that you made it through another day in paradise you know things these things may seem simple, but they are so very powerful reminders that there are still beauty even in the middle of fear. So to, before we wrap it up our video, here are my final thoughts and they are that you are stronger than you fear. I want you to know that breaking free from fearful thoughts is not impossible. It's certainly not easy, that's for sure, but you can definitely do it. You are stronger than your own fears and you are more powerful than you know those anxious thoughts. Fear might try to control you, but it does not own you. You have the power to choose faith over fear, to choose truth over lies, and to choose peace over panic remember fear is just a feeling and it's temporary but the peace that comes from replacing fear with truth that's internal so if you're struggling with fearful thoughts today know that god is here with you your friends are here with you your loved ones are here with you hell even i'll be here for you just let me know in the comments and you know you're not alone in this battle and i believe in the ability to, that you can break free from them just take one baby step at a time and challenge those thoughts lean into the truth and above all trust that you're going to come out stronger on the other side thank you and god bless you for taking a few moments out of your day to check out this video i pray that this message hopefully resonates with you feel free to let me know in the comments or if you want to continue the conversation in the comments definitely do so i'm more than happy to read listen and respond and if you have any suggestions for future topics i'm also intrigued and i can't wait to hear, hear you respond if you want more guidance on overcoming fear and living in peace make sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments as well i'm adam representing team sos in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night god bless you stay safe and i'll see you on the next one peace